Which of the following is a type of disaster recovery strategy that involves maintaining duplicate copies of data and systems in a secondary location? A. Cold Site B. Hot Site C. Warm Site D. Off-Site Backup. Answer. D. Off-Site Backup. Which of the following is a secure method for authenticating users over a network? A. Storing passwords in plain text format B. Using biometric authentication C. Disabling password complexity requirements D. Sharing passwords with colleagues. Answer. B. Using biometric authentication. What is the purpose of an ACL, access control list? A. To encrypt data transmissions B. To filter network traffic based on predefined rules C. To authenticate users D. To monitor system logs. Answer. B. To filter network traffic based on predefined rules. Which of the following is a type of security control that identifies and prevents unauthorized access to a network? A. IDS B. IPSC. VPN D. ACL. Answer. B. IPS. What is the purpose of a digital certificate? A. To encrypt data transmissions B. To identify devices on a network C. To authenticate users or devices D. To filter web traffic. Answer. C. To authenticate users or devices. Which of the following is an example of a type of denial of service DOS, attack that involves sending ICMP echo request packets to a broadcast address? A. Smurf B. Sin Flood C. Ping Flood D. UDP Flood. Answer. A. Smurf. What is the primary purpose of intrusion detection systems? IDS. A. To prevent unauthorized access to a network B. To detect and respond to security threats in real time C. To authenticate users D. To encrypt data transmissions. Answer. B. To detect and respond to security threats in real time. Which of the following is a common method used to protect wireless networks from unauthorized access? A. Disabling encryption B. MAC filtering C. Sharing passwords openly D. Disabling SSID broadcasting. Answer. B. MAC filtering. What is the purpose of a security assessment? A. To identify and evaluate potential security risks and vulnerabilities B. To encrypt data transmissions C. To filter web traffic D. To authenticate users. Answer. A. To identify and evaluate potential security risks and vulnerabilities. Which of the following is a secure method for authenticating users over a network? A. Single factor authentication B. Weak password C. Password reuse D. Multi factor authentication. Answer. D. Multi factor authentication. What is the purpose of a disaster recovery plan? DRP. A. To prevent security breaches B. To outline steps for responding to and recovering from disasters C. To authenticate users D. To manage network traffic. Answer. B. To outline steps for responding to and recovering from disasters. Which of the following is a common security control used to protect against SQL injection attacks? A. Antivirus software B. Firewalls C. Input validation D. Intrusion detection systems. Answer. C. Input validation. What is the primary purpose of biometric authentication? A. To identify devices on a network B. To authenticate users based on physical characteristics C. To encrypt data transmissions D. To filter web traffic. Answer. B. To authenticate users based on physical characteristics. Which of the following is an example of a type of software vulnerability? A. Antivirus software B. Buffer overflow C. Firewall D. IDS. Answer. B. Buffer overflow. What is the purpose of a security awareness training program? A. To increase employee productivity B. To educate employees about security risks and best practices C. To filter web traffic D. 
to manage financial transactions? Answer. B. To educate employees about security risks and best practices. Which of the following is a secure method for transmitting sensitive data over the Internet? A. HTTPB. FTPC. HTTPSD. Telnet. Answer. C. HTTPS.